Ah, greetings. Welcome back. I do believe I just showed uh, the monk buff for a rogue monk. So I decided to show it for my original monk, the warrior monk. Uh, just, just to see how well it, it goes. I mean, I know how well it goes, but just to show uh, how, how well the, the Ox Awareness buff is, even though it is more rogue-oriented, um, it's still decent for, um, the old warrior monk. And yes, uh, it is a 30% lifesteal, which is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, that's in the middle of non-crit and crit for, uh, Scorching Daggers, for example. Okay, maybe not in the direct middle, but still, that's on all of your attacks. And, well, this is my, my monk. Now you see, a lot of the issues with my monk, this is more for, um, the old, well, I guess the older, uh, Ox Awareness. The one that had a whole bunch of turns of regen, because regen is not affected by your heal power. It's solely based on your health. And I would just use that for my sustain. That's why I have a whole bunch of defenses and, and resistances. That's quite a lot of resistance. But only having 200 heal power, that's not enough to cover all that defense. Um, but the way I kind of solved this was just to pump it full of uh, heal power. And it kind of worked for the most part. Um, also reducing my defenses a bit too. Like my resistances are lower. My magic defense is lower, which I didn't want to do. But this uh, pure fire trinket gives me air resistance. And that should be fine, because everything that hurts magically in Grand Dungeon is air, or at least in, in Solo. So, that should hopefully cover that a bit. But yes, nearly 300 heal power, that's a bit more uh, balanced. I mean, I still have over 400 defense, so that's, that's still a lot. But it's better. But now with this, um... You know, I, I don't think I mentioned this last time. Uh, this is not affected by heal power, it looks like. It is solely on your damage. Which is strange, because uh, heal power is um, improved by your... Or, lifesteal is improved by heal power. But uh, this one is not. It's solely on damage, which, you know, fair enough. Don't want it to be too strong. Uh, but yeah, we'll just, just show what this uh, ox is capable of. I don't really need attack. I guess I could use some water power, sure. Use some heal power to get through my defenses a bit better. Uh, you know, I guess I could go for attack, why not? Don't really need anything else. Uh, but yeah, we'll just we'll just show it. Also, I'll I'll stick to the um the high hill power set for now because I'm I'm a bit more used to it. Uh, but yes, I don't know why I didn't need to counter there, but oh well, I guess I still one shot him. Uh, but yeah, this should be fairly decent. I meant to counter there. Evaded. That's fine. Luckily, we're getting the weak. Well, the squishy enemies, I should say. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, see, the ox awareness on the rogue was stealing like 200 or so. You know, that's pretty strong on a glass cannon. Even though they get hit for like 400 constantly, but it's alright. I believe on the warrior monk... It was roughly, hmm, like a hundred, hundred and fifty, which is a lot because 
I get hit for like 150, so that is pretty swell, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, going through the motions, the early Grand Dungeon enemies. It's a decent hill, despite my defense buffs there, or that were there. Oh, okay, well, water drops still hurt. I forgot about that one. Yeah, should be fine. Flame Spark is a physical enemy, so I'm okay with taking augmented damage. Because I am a physical tank. Ah, second boss already. Okay. And I've got initiative, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? So, the warrior monk, as you can see, it's keeping its health up decently. It's uh, towards, like, the last fourth of the Grand Dungeon is when it starts to struggle for health because it's burned through all of its healing options. Uh, yeah, I'll do on guard, sure. <laughs> I've had these three evasion buffs up um, for quite some time and uh, have not evaded. That's okay, though. That's a secondary defense layer. I don't need to evade. That's the, that's the beauty of it. It's just a little better if I do. Okay, that's going to hurt me a little bit. No, I, I actually kicked in. Yeah, those guys kind of hurt. Ow, speaking of hurting. Not bad. This is a bad showcase of Vox Awareness. I haven't really needed it. Been been getting some good enemies, no no buggy chubbies, no uh <laughs> what's it called? Morning ball ICs or anything like that? Or firewind shields, you know, things that take a while to kill. Um you know my health is a little bit low here, so I'll show it a little bit. I might want to shut this one because I actually have water power food. We'll see. Oh, close. But yeah, 171 on a... I mean, that was a wolf blow plus a monkey cloud, but that's still decent. This guy's gonna hurt me a lot. I don't know. I forgot I'm a monk. I've got evasion. That's the beauty of a... Uh, the beauty of, war, of warrior monk. You've got defenses... And you got evasion. You don't have to worry about too much. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, well, first buggy chubby. <laughs> oh, see, now I'm getting all the bad, these bad enemies to be getting. It's all right. It's, it's at the end of the run anyway. It's okay. Hmm. Well, I am out of on guards. So you know what? For old times' sake, let me use that last one. Uh, but yeah, probably not the best showcase because I this was actually a pretty good run for enemies. Uh, but yeah, you saw that monkey cloud. I got eighty six health. Um, but I get hit for. Okay, assuming things don't crit and burst me, I get hit for around a hundred or so on this character. Oh, I don't have on guard up, that's why I hit that hard. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Pretty good buff to Monk, I will say. Although a lot better on... Or a lot more noticeable on... A crit monk on rogue monk because um, they hit hard. 
Uh, but, you know, it's fine. I guess anyone that plays Monk usually goes rogue anyway. Um, my only guess is because of a little something called uh, dexterity. Yeah, but... Uh, but for those warrior monk enthusiasts out there, it's a pretty good buff. I like it. Even if it's not as noticeable on on the tanky warrior monks, it's, it's still good. It's all right, especially on the the mixed passive monk, because it's got a bunch of healing on top of that. But yeah, uh, I suppose that is all. For now, I shall see you around.